Hello everybody and welcome to this video where we are going to figure out how you want to create for the rest of your life. Seems kind of like a big deal to me. I have been putting together everything for Bloodshed Press. I've been talking to a lot of people who have been through this, are in the industry, the whole thing. I've talked to a lot of people who also kind of have their own publishing company, but only publish on Amazon and stuff like that. I've been hearing a lot of stuff. I've been reading a lot of books, actually, on this as well. And I've been hearing a lot of back and forth. And there has only been one book that I have read that, at least this point, agrees with me on. Some of the people who have the opposite view of this, I was actually shocked by. I was shocked by. There are some very, like, super, like, punk rock kind of presses out there. And I thought that this would be a kind of thought that a lot of people would share, but it's not. And I think that's a huge problem. And what this problem is, is that a lot of people, especially if you guys are out there picking up like how to sell books, how to be a self publisher and all this, and you're doing all this stuff, you're gonna find that a lot of these books and even people, if you talk to the people, um, they will say, the best thing you can do is look at what books are selling, see if there is room in that niche for you to sell a kind of different idea that follows up on that niche. And if you can do that, then you can sell a lot of books and make a living as a writer. This is like marketing 101 and sales 101. Like find a need and fill it like that's like no shit kind of thing but hearing even people who talk about writing almost more of a copywriting job instead of like a creative art I don't want to say troubling, but, like, it just feels gross, dude. Like, I don't... It's upsetting to me because I write what I want to write. You know what I'm saying? And I put out what I want to put out. And I feel like I have built a audience that is not only receptive to that but appreciates the fact that I do kind of whatever the fuck I want to do, you know? And I actually got an email from somebody today that said, don't write the books you want to write and don't publish the books you want to publish. And that was their advice to me. I was just taken aback because it's like, if I'm doing something creative but it's not anything that I actually want to do why the hell am I doing it like who would want to do that but then there are people out there who don't have the drive in their heart to fucking create because they have no choice and it, like the urge like comes out of them like something between a monster and projectile vomit. I don't know. I guess this is going to be if let me see if I could prove people wrong, you know, because like the idea of putting out my work and publishing other people's stuff is all about like doing the things that I like and the things that I think are good. You know what I'm saying? So to just base my creativity off of market research like I understand the principle behind it but if 
you are truly a creative person and you want to create, then, like, why the hell would you base everything you do on what is trending on Amazon? <sighs> so basically, what I wanted to say, and I, I felt this way forever, but in um, the creative act, the Rick Rubin book, which I, I got the uh, the hardcover and I was going to make a video about it. I haven't done it yet. So, um, but he says something in this. Um, my screen flashed and I got scared there. And I think this is from that. I wrote it down, but I didn't put what book it was from. But it sounds like something he would say. Don't listen to anyone. Make your favorite things. The things that aren't there that you need. You are the audience. You can't make art with someone else in mind, even me. And maybe that's not from the Rick Rubin book. Maybe this was me telling myself something. I don't know. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't attribute the quote, um, but I should have. Um, but the, it's so, it's so true. You know, like I started writing a lot of poetry because I was wanting poetry, but couldn't find enough poetry written about or the, about the stuff I, I wanted to read about, you know? Or at least in a way that I wanted to read it. And I still pretty much write for this audience, you know? And it's working out, you know? So if anything, if I could inspire you, just like, I'm, I'm doing it and it's okay, you know? Like, am I making a ridiculous amount of money selling a ridiculous amount of books on Amazon as eback, eback, ebooks? No. Um, but I'm doing what I love to do, and that makes me feel good. And I don't know, maybe that's enough. I feel like it's enough, although I do want more, which is why I'm starting the press. I, I want more content. I want to find writers that I believe in and push them, you know? So, I don't know. We, we will see how all this goes, and um, hopefully... In doing this, I won't just be the exception to the rule. Hopefully, I can be the new rule for others, you know. Um, let, let me be your case study, I guess, is the best way to put this. I don't know. I'm just... Uh, I... I've, I've just been kind of shocked buy things I've heard that's it and I didn't know how else to how else to do all this and who to talk to and here we are come see come saw Bob Joe Uncle Fan is your aunt um Tupac lives okay so with that being said keep buying my books time hard everybody and I will talk to you all later I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys. And thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew or the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.